we always wanted him to finish up with a caring lady, really. That's, you know, that's it. As long as they love each other, that's all that matters. We're a very close family and uh, we love each other and, and we all know what love means. And I would expect the same with a, with a relationship with my wife to, to love my wife as well. It was hard to tell what the women made of Paul's sales pitch for life with him in Stratford-upon-Avon. But they were soon whisked off to famous beauty spots around Jamaica. I am a one woman man. I'd be so happy if you were mine. You'd be number one out of twelve. Still number one, but we'd be living behind. I am a one woman man, and it would make me feel so fine. You'd be number one out of twelve. Still number one, but we'd be living behind. Many of the women had never been outside of the Ukraine before, and Paul's offer of a two-week fantasy holiday with the prospect of marrying a wealthy businessman must have at first seemed an attractive opportunity. Oh, I think it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. Um, in the ocean, um, under the castle, I was shocking. <laughs> Are you were pleased? You were excited? Yeah. Mm, I think uh, <laughs> I'm a beautiful woman and all pictures are beautiful too. We've got the chemistry. No one can do it better. Yes, I'm a love maker. And you appreciate how hard I grind. How hard I grind? Yeah, how hard I work. Hard work. On the face of it, Jamaica was the perfect fantasy location. But I hadn't realised it was also the worst possible place Paul could have chosen. Beneath the surface, there was something increasingly strange about Paul's behaviour. It turned out to be related to an incident that happened six years ago. Just as now, Paul was on holiday in Jamaica. He came back after about three days, and he seemed different. He seemed very, um, very emotional, very high, very uh, strung out in a way. We noticed throughout his week before he went back to Jamaica that he all of a sudden started smoking pot. I did not know Paul to, uh, to ever do any drugs or, or anything of that nature. He goes back to Jamaica, we start receiving wild phone calls uh, two, three days after he's there, um, using phrases such as binary bonding in Africa. He was having telepathy with Stephen Hawking's and uh, everybody was, we were gonna be the richest people in the world. Kelly and myself initially thought that he was on some heavy drugs. It was more than the pot. He has to be on something down there. Somebody's got him hooked. Kelly Jones was about to fly to Jamaica to find out what was going on. But before he left, news came that Paul had been committed to a psychiatric hospital. He had met a woman, a marine biologist, and they had some sort of conversation. Later, he went to her room to ask her to marry him. Paul went there extremely manic, and he basically kicked her door in, and the door actually hit her. Security came and grabbed Paul. In the process of taking Paul away, Paul frees himself from the security, Jamaican police takes off running down this pier. And keep in mind, Paul cannot swim. He does not know how to swim. Leaped off of this pier with boulders and rocks and waves crashing into it. Misses the rocks by three or four feet into the water. And he's now on his back with his arms out floating, better than an Olympic swimmer could be. And the waves are pushing him off the rocks and he's just kicking himself back, floating. So eventually, um, Two or three guys, uh, I don't know if they're lifeguards in the Jamaican police, whatever, went down with wetsuits and got Paul out and they were carrying him over these jagged rocks and they got him up onto this pier. And he's looking up in the air with his hands out saying, Steve and Steve and come on, send me. And it, it, you know, and, he's, and he's, he's swearing during the process, send me a message. Um, I, I, I don't know what to do, I'm doing everything you ask, help me out. They strapped him down and took him away and put him into this hospital. They 
ca came along, the three or four of them, put a needle in my arm. Literally sort of men in white coats type thing. Yeah. 